Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crimson Flower. I'm the current owner of the Polyphasic Sleep Discord server. I'm a main author of Polyphasic.net, the community recommended resource, and I'm a moderator on the r slash polyphasic subreddit. The topic for today's video will be the Tricore Schedule group. This video is part of our series on presenting the different schedules, and if you haven't seen the previous videos in this playlist, I highly encourage you to do so. The Tricore or TC family of sleep schedules originate from a single schedule called Triphasic. They aren't very popular due to the hard scheduling because of the wake time activities. The schedules in this group have an SWS focused core, a REM focused core and a mixed core, all of which are a single cycle in length. The number of naps is also very low compared to other schedules. A benefit of these schedules is that a good amount of multiple types of sleep are distributed across the day, which helps with sustaining wakefulness and minimizing the buildup of homeostatic pressure. The short single cycle sleep blocks can help promote greater levels of sleep compression, which may help with raising the sleep quality that would otherwise only be seen on schedules with much smaller total sleep quantities like Everyman 4 or Dual Core 3 or nap only schedules. Sleep compression by the way refers to the shortening of sleep cycles, but we'll get to that in another video. So let's talk about the specific schedules. Triphasic is the first tricore schedule. It has a total sleep time of 4 hours and 30 minutes and is ranked as somewhat hard. This schedule was proposed by Leif Weaver. It consists of three single sleep blocks which are spread equidistantly around the day, with one sleep cycle every eight hours. So in each eight hour block, you spend 6.5 hours awake and 1.5 hours sleeping. You could view this schedule as a combination of segment and sleep with a late siesta core. The equidistant spacing is not compulsory, for some people have been able to adapt to a spacing of 8 to 9 hours between some course without significant issues. Non-equidistant scheduling is however discouraged for people who lack polyphasic sleeping experience. This schedule has no naps at all and requires a sleep block to be placed in the middle of the afternoon. This, along with the socially intrusive evening core, makes the triphasic sleep schedule unpopular. However, it is the only seriously viable sleep pattern with significant sleep reduction that will give high levels of sleep compression without having to take any naps. Sometimes the sleep blocks might see natural wakes after only around an hour or so, which is an indicative of the level of compression that can be achieved on this schedule. Some caution is advised when adapting to triphasic, because only a single cycle is placed in an SWS favorable time period. For this reason, people who try to adapt to triphasic might experience SWS deprivation symptoms during the adaptation. This, with the addition of the shortened cycle lengths, can make waking up during the night very difficult, since there is a very high chance of waking up during SWS. After adapting, this should not cause problems anymore, but during the adaptation it will be more difficult to avoid oversleeping. It's also worth noting that very few people have been able to adapt to a standard version of triphasic, as most people tend to get the SWS core naturally extended while the afternoon core shortens in sleep duration, resembling a modified dual core 1 schedule. It should be noted that in terms of difficulty, the classic triphase could be placed somewhere between Everyman 3 and Dual Core 3. So even though it has half an hour more sleep, it's very difficult for regular people to pull off. In the event of sickness or temporary high SWS needs, uh, the night core can sometimes be extended by a single cycle without completely breaking the schedule after adapting. Although some sleep compression will be lost from this and it may take a few days to recover. An extended version of Triphasic should add a cycle to the SWS heavy evening or night core. The next schedule we'll talk about is the Tricore 1 schedule. It is a total sleep time of 4 hours and 50 minutes, and its difficulty is ranked as moderate. This variation of the Triphasic schedule was proposed by the Polyphasic Sleep Community in 2017, and is one of the newest known viable schedules. 
The idea behind the schedule is that the cores are moved to typical nighttime sleeping hours only, which removes triphasic's inconvenient core sleep during the afternoon. Because the 4.5 hours of core sleep don't account for the 12 hours awake in a row, a nap must be added to compensate for the closer spacing of the cores. The added nap is often placed right in the middle of the waking block, at the same time as the afternoon core of triphasic would be. SWS deprivation symptoms during adaptation are less likely to be present on this schedule than on triphasic, because the mixed core in the night allows for a higher amount of SWS. For ideal scheduling, the core should have a gap of at least two hours, preferably three, as some people have not been able to adapt to a gap of less than two cycles in length. Tricore 1 can also be used during gradual adaptation as a transitional schedule into dual core 3 by reducing the third core into a nap and adding a nap in the middle of the day. More information on this will be given in a future video. The last tricore schedule is tricore 2. This tricore variant was proposed by Discord user Lichterloch uh, and has a total sleep time of 5 hours and 10 minutes. With Tricore 2, the mixed core is placed very late in the afternoon, the SWS core is placed just before midnight, and the REM core is placed at dawn. It is complemented by two naps, one placed in the morning and one in the afternoon. Similarly to Tricore 1, this can be used as a gradual adaptation step to adapt to Dual Core 3, though this is done via rhythmic preservation by adding a nap and reducing the core that feels the lightest or most unnecessary into a nap after the adaptation. The Tricore line is probably my favorite set of schedules, just because they're so different from the other ones. I love seeing mixed cores being used. What do you think of these schedules? They are pretty wacky, aren't they? Uh, do any of them fit in your day? As in, would some of you be able to attend these schedules? Or are you unable to schedule in the sleep time? Leave a comment down below telling us whether you could do it. Anyway, that's all for today. I hope to be seeing you in the next episode. Nap well! Thanks for making it this far. I want to take this time to shout out our coffee page. Donations go a long way with improving the knowledge of the community and helps us continue the upkeep of polyphysic.net. We plan on funding experiments and sleep trackers for members of the community in the future and that in turn helps us make sure the scientific endeavors of polyphysic sleep are kept up. And if you like our content, we would really appreciate if you click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on any videos in the future. Also, if you'd like to chat with us, you can join our Discord. This is where most polyphysic sleep related discussions take place. The links will be in the description. Thanks again and I'll see you later.